Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another manual graphics tutorial. Today in this tutorial we'll be learning the basics of rigging our models in Blender. So this sort of follows on from last week's or the previous week's Blender tutorial which was the low poly animals. I truly recommend you watching this so you can um, create your own animals and then rig them up into positions and just adds a really nice effect to your render. So basically what we'll be doing is we'll just be doing some basic reading. So you see how I can move separate parts of his body using these individual bones here. And that was the original. Just some future noses. That was the original and I can rig him up to move in separate body. So I've got my model penguin here. And you can use this technique for any model you have. Um, this is just the way you do it. It's not really a technique. It's just the way you um, rig up things in Blender. So we're just going to be covering the basics of the uh, armature and applying it and stuff like that. So first of all, um, to add a bone, we need to go Shift A, Armature, Single Bone. And we can't see our armature. Actually, where is it? Spawn down there. Let me just move my 3D cursor back so it says. And then I can just zoom in, pan across, and Shift A, single bone. I'm going to move this bone across, and to see it through our um, model, we need to turn on the X ray. So move over to this little tab here and click X ray. We're then going to go into edit mode. And selecting this end of the bone, we're just going to drag up to stretch our bone. So that'll be his backbone. So I'm just going to quickly name this bone. Okay. I'm going to be doing the arms next. So to do the arms, we need to go into uh, options and click X mirror, X axis mirror. And we're going to do shift E, X and drag out. Let me just name these bones. Um, arm right and arm left. So to disconnect these we need to click Alt P and we're going to click disconnect bone. We're then going to hit G on our keyboard, move it to the top of our wings and rotate on the y axis 90 degrees and then rotate on the uh, y axis again to uh, sort out. We're also going to scale these down a bit. So that's the top half of their wings. We're going to hit G again just to reposition and move it across like so. There we go. So we're going to do the rest of the wings, so we're just going to hit E to extrude and simply pull it there and E to extrude there. So that's the um, wings covered. Now we're just going to move on to our um, legs now. So again, we're going to hit Shift E, X, cross. We're then going to disconnect the bones using Alt P. And we're going to hit G, not disconnect, Alt P, disconnect bone. We're going to hit G, R, Y, 90. And let's grab these and move them down here. We're then going to scale them down a bit, quite a lot actually. G, and our legs are around here. It's good. Okay, we'll come back to do the feet in a sec. Let's just do the head. So to do the head, I'm just going to select this top nerve here and E to extrude. I'm going to put it around here. E to extrude again. E to extrude again. Okay, so that's our head um, done. Now the feet, they're pretty optional. For a penguin, I, I wouldn't usually move the toes. Um, 
since they are like a fine point detail and penguins don't really move their their toes much so um I'm just going to leave them, but you just go through the same technique again. So, um, we're just going to get out of edit mode, and we're going to select our, um, and notice how I didn't rename any of the other bones. You're meant to do that, by the way. Um, it's just, I was lazy this time and should have done it. But anyway, we're then going to um, right click on our model and right click on our bones here then we're going to hit control p and we're going to hit with automatic weights <clears throat> so if i go into pose mode pose mode now i'm then going to be able to move <coughs> my bones and that'll move separate parts of the body so if i'm just going to hit g i'm just going to rotate on the y axis and as you see, it starts pulling, pulling at different parts of the body. Now we don't want that. So we're going to have to go into, um, go into our model here and go into weight paint mode. And we're just going to select this part of the bone here. And this is if your um, thing is dragging a bit. So we're just going to zoom in a bit and we're just going to tools and we're going to subtract. I'm just going to get rid of some of this when it's a, because we'd only want it to move the arm. And I'll just rotate my canvas a bit. Okay, I'm just going to check the other bone. Yeah, I'm just going to move that. Okay. They're all fine. The set weights there. Yep, that's pretty much good there. Let's just set that to add. <coughs> we know that's the body. The head, that looks good. That looks good. And that looks fine. The feet are the legs here. We're just going to subtract some of that. Um, so this is basically um, Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, this can take time to refine, but I'm just gonna, for tutorial's sake, I'm just gonna leave it how it is. Let's just rotate this again. And as you can see, it's still dragging. So if I'm really gonna fix this, I'm gonna have to go back into weight paint mode and simply don't want this at all to be weight painted that's that um I'll just do that bit get rid of all that and that arm's pretty good actually okay just go back into post mode ry there we go so that's perfect so we got rid of how much um it's put on so that's good so the more we add the more that bone's going to cover and the more we subtract the more the less that bone's going to cover so as you see with the wings if you move them they're going to detach or hook on like that and we don't want that so we're just gonna birds don't really do anything with their wings apart from move them up and down and um like that and we'll just get 
that rotates the whole body but who would do that with their model because that's hooks on and that's just it takes a time to refine but um, I did a pretty good job this time yeah we're gonna have to just fix that bit up with that bone yeah so just gonna subtract Oh, sorry, let's add. We just want it to, since we don't have any feet, we're just going to add it to our um, model like so. We just want to select all of that, make sure we got every single bit, because if we don't, that'll just look terrible. And there we go. That should be good. And let's go back into. As you see, perfect. You can also move him up, the feet up and down. So that is the basic um, thing of rigging in Blender. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I shall catch you in my next video.